In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to add a credit card account on Xero. The process is straightforward and I'll guide you through it step by step to ensure you have a smooth experience. First, let's begin by logging into your Xero accounting software. Head over to the Xero login page from your web browser. Once there, simply click on the log in button. You'll be prompted to enter your email and password. It's important to use the credentials associated with your Xero account, so take a moment to ensure they are correct. Once you've entered your details, click log in to access the dashboard. Now that you're logged into your account, go to your dashboard. It's where you can access various features and monitor your financial activities. From the dashboard, navigate to the accounting section. You'll find this option on the main menu and clicking on it will present a drop down menu. Here, select bank accounts, which, asks, uh, which will direct you to a page where you manage your bank accounts linked to zero. On the bank accounts page, you'll see an option labeled add bank account. Click on this button to initiate the process of adding a new credit card account. Xero will provide you with a list of banks. If your bank appears on the list, you can select it directly. For this demonstration, let's choose Bank of America as an example. Once you've selected your bank, you will have the option to set up later. In many cases, setting up bank feeds right away is convenient, but for our purposes here, click on Add Without Bank Feed. This choice will allow you to manually enter your credit card details. You'll now need to fill in some details regarding your credit card account. Start by typing in the account name for your credit card. Choosing a descriptive name will help you quickly identify it later, especially if you have multiple accounts. After naming your account, you'll see a field labeled Select Account Type. Click on this and choose credit card from the list provided. It helps Xero organize your financial data correctly. The next step involves entering the last four digits of your credit card number. This information is crucial for identifying your specific card, especially useful if you have multiple accounts with the same bank. After inputting these digits, you can finalize your setup by clicking save and continue. And there you have it, you've successfully added a credit card to your Xero account. This setup will allow you to easily track and manage your expenses, helping keep your finances organized. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out other tutorials for more helpful tips on using Xero more efficiently.